Good morning, this is Data Explorers and I'm Jessica Johnson. Regulatory news first of all, the Financial Services Authority, the FSA, is considering forcing investors to disclose their short position in all stocks, not just banks and insurers, it said yesterday on Wednesday. And the regular said, regulator sorry, said on Monday that it's bound on short selling financial stocks would end on January the 16th. But investors still need to disclose significant short positions on 34 banks and insurers until at least the end of June. As part of that announcement, the financial watchdog said it would publish a separate consultation paper on its long-term plans for short selling. In individual stocks, BJ's Wholesale, Saks, Walmart and Abercrombie & Fitch all have announcements today. The short position of BJ's continues to be fairly significant but there has been a significant amount of short covering, down from 36% of its shares outstanding on loan in July to 24% now. Utilisation is at 54% and down from 60% in November. The share price of this company has fallen from $42 in August to $34 now. Saks currently has 13% of its shares outstanding on loan, down from 20% in July, so some short covering there as well. The retailer's utilisation has fallen from 80% in August, a very high amount, to 64% now, with the share price also falling from $12 in September to $5 now. Walmart has much lower short interest, with just 0.66% of its shares are selling on loan, down from 1.1% in November, and utilisation is at 4%. The company's share price has ebbed and flowed between $64 and $50 over the past six months. And finally, on to Abercrombie & Fitch, you have a reasonably high short position with 15% of their shares outstanding on loan, up from 6% in November, so an increase in short positions there. And utilisation is at nearly 50%, up from 20% in the same time frame. The company's share price has fallen from $60 to $25 in the last six months. Many thanks. Have a great day. 